Ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Talk, and today I got a few things I want to talk about because I wanted to get some content out this week, and plus I had a lot of things on my mind that I wanted to talk about, and um, I just released um, an episode of the Game Feed that should be coming up later today, um, as well as a few other things. Now, you're probably asking me well, what I need to talk about. Um, last... <laughs> Probably the last couple of weeks, I've been having some problems. Uh, been a little bit homesick, um, and I miss my friends a lot. But um, I just realized I'm 28 years old, and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm really, really happy. I've got my fiance. Uh, we moved to a new place. We got an apartment. Uh, things are great in our relationship, and I love her to death. And that's the best thing going right now. Um, but, you know, I went from making like $16 an hour to making $9 an hour as a door greeter. That's because I hurt my shoulder. Um, I'm still waiting to hear about that. Um, I haven't heard from the MR, the doctor that scheduled the MRI. Um, but the other day, the, it was May the 4th, um, which was Star Wars Day was also another big day for the, me. Um, that was my grandpa's birthday. And um, my grandpa was a really big, big inspiration in my life. So was my grandma. Uh, the nicest people you guys would have ever met. And um, I lost them. It's almost been 10 years. Um, it's almost, I think it's been about eight years now. But I lost my grandpa. And um, I lost my grandpa, uh, grandma, sorry. Um, a few, a few couple years later, which it took a really big toll on me. Um, and I still, every day I still think about them because, um, like I said, it was a really big deal for me. And, you know, I miss my friends a lot. I do. I, I, I like I said before, I have, I have, have really great friends, um, friends that I've known forever and, um, I miss them all dearly. Um, and, you know, I don't get to talk to them that much anymore because where um, you know there's a time difference. I'm working, um, and it's really hard to get a hold of people anymore. Uh, but I plan on going down to Ohio here, and maybe hopefully in a couple of months, just to go see everybody. And um, you know, I'm just I can't wait to do that. Now that doesn't mean I want to move back to Ohio or anything. I'm really, really happy here. I want things to work out because I'm working, you know, I'm glad to see my family, uh, see my fiance. She's with her family. Um, and uh, I'm hoping that the bits and pieces game store thing works out around here because I think this place could really use it. And I, it, I think it would be a great opportunity if I can get it kicked off. Um, but, you know, I, I, <laughs> I just been having some issues lately. It's just kind of been bugging me. Um, I don't know if it's just like a midlife crisis thing, which I shouldn't be. I'm 28 years old. I don't think that happens until you're like 40 or 50. Um, but I, I don't know. I guess I've been kind of bummed out a little bit. But I'm thinking things are going to take off eventually. Usually what happens is I get knocked down, then like punched and kicked a few times, and then I get back up and do really, really good. So... I'm really, the outlook for that is really great. I think that's going to work out just fine. Um, <clears throat> now, <laughs> one thing that's been helping out quite a bit is, um, you've probably seen this video I made the other day uh, of my kittens, and I overlaid uh, some WCW stuff on it. And I, I, I feel like a dad. I know that sounds really weird and cringy, but... Uh, me and my fiance would just sit there and play with these kittens. Like they don't even have their eyes open, and I just, you know, I'm always there watching them. Every time I'm hearing them meow, I'm running up to them just to check see if they're okay. And I know that might sound really, really weird, but you know, I, they're really awesome. I, I love animals like big time. And, <laughs> but um, there's a couple things I'm trying to sort out though. Uh, I, I might need to try to get a doctor's appointment to have them check on my medicine and stuff. Uh, maybe up the dosage a little bit because it seems like it's not working that well. And uh, I remember it was about 
four or five months ago, um, I went off my medicine for like three or four days just to see if, you know, I didn't need it, that I had a mental breakdown. And I started taking the medicine again, and it's it's helped out, but lately it doesn't seem like it's helping. And that's just like the depression medicine and everything. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's nothing big, because uh, I really don't want to take more pills. I hate I hate waking up in the morning and taking about ten pills and taking four or five more in the afternoon or in the evening. I hate it. It's terrible. Really bad. Really really bad. Um, also, I've been working on a bunch of uh, freelance Photoshop work, just trying to... Uh, I, I've been working Photoshop for years now, um, and I used to... Um, one of my th internships was with uh, a big oil company, and I worked on... Oh, no, what was that? Okay. That's right. I think I had my uh, <laughs> arm on the space bar. Um, but I used to work for Mary... Marathon. I'll just go ahead and say it. Um, I used to work making training modules and stuff for that. And um, pretty much my whole career has been uh, IT oriented, and I've you know spent a lot of time with Photoshop, Flash, stuff like that, and working on computers. And I guess I'm kind of bummed out because you know it's really hard to find a job in that, and um, it's a really crowded market. Um, now another thing is, you know, I I, I kind of let myself down a little bit because I sh did a sh couple streams for the bits and pieces thing to try to get awareness out for it, and not very many people showed up for it, and there hasn't really been too much interest in it. And like I said, I've been trying my ass off to try to, you know, advertise it, either by going, you know, throughout the town or the following. Uh, like surrounding areas and passing out flyers or hanging flyers up at local businesses or on trees uh, to posting all over the internet, Craigslist, Facebook, um, Twitter, uh, you name it. Um, and it doesn't seem like it's really getting much ground on it. I'm hoping eventually it catch on, but you never know. Um, yeah, I guess I let myself down a little bit because I get get my hopes up. I'm I'm just like I want things to go like really really fast. I want things to work out super fast, and it hasn't. And I'm kind of, I guess I'm kind of bummed out. But the things I guess should will take time. Um, you know, right now I'm sitting at 134 subscribers, and I probably get an average of 10 views per video. I've been doing videos for almost two years now, maybe maybe a year, year and a half, and hasn't really got too much traction. Which it's YouTube is highly competitive, and there's a lot of people just like me doing the same exact stuff, and it's really hard to get that niche. And I try my best to make my stuff a little bit different. Um, you know, whenever you guys watch a video, uh, most of the time it's unedited because I want you guys to see me as me and not like a chopped up pieces me because I want to be real to you guys if that makes sense and I want to help you guys out um, any which way I can but hopefully hopefully things get a little bit better I think it's just my medicine that's messing with me and just being homesick um, but things will get better um, I think uh, this time next year, we'll be talking totally different. Then again, this time next year, I could be caught on fire and all this other stuff. But let's think positive here, positively, because I need some positivity. Um, if you guys are having problems right now and you need some positive in your life, let me know in the comments below. Or if you don't want to share on the comments, just mess message me and I'll talk to you. I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, again, my name is Panto6. Be sure to check out the Bits and Pieces thing at www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces, as well as be sure to hit like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll love you. <laughs> I love you guys anyways, but yeah, again, Panto6, hit like and subscribe, and sorry for the stuttering. I need to get better at that. <laughs> you guys take it easy.